Hey everybody, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. Today's video, I had told people on Discord to send me races on 1320 Challenge, and y'all delivered. <laughs> As you can see, I got 40 incoming challenges and zero editing to the video. We are going to run every single race I can possibly race. So... Without further ado, let's get started. We're first going to check my maintenance. I'm just going to do all the oil and stuff just to make sure. I'm guessing most of my races are going to be to one of these two. Because that's what I've been racing the most is these guys. Uh, they've been my favorite cars so far. I think my fastest in the funny car has been 4.167. Uh, there's one person that is running faster at 4.14 pretty consistently. I'm not running that 4.1 consistently anymore. I wish I was. <laughs> uh, I don't know how they're running 4.14s. That's insane. Um, just in case anybody sent to this thing, I figured I'd fix it. But let's go get started. So as you can see, most races... Thanks, Beavins. Uh, <laughs> let's give this a shot. So the ratios on each of my funny cars are exactly the same. So I'm not worried about that. I always run clutch up on this car, and we're going to turn all this shit back on for the fun of it. All right. First race. I haven't even done a warm-up race. I haven't raced in, I think, t about a day and a half. And, of course, I fouled. Oh, so, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, I was messing with the client after talking to uh, Beavins on um, Discord voice chat. And he mentioned, because he actually races, he mentioned that it would actually be extremely helpful if he would be able to see the reaction time still instead of just the word foul, when you foul. So, you know, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, wow, that's kind of a no-brainer thing. Like, yeah, I could see how that could help. Uh, I could see how that could help your racing. And I went into the client, kind of messed around with it, wanted to see if I could actually make that happen. And apparently you can. This man getting 501s on me. Jesus Christ. So apparently you can make that happen. And I actually, I agree. I think it is a very useful thing. But obviously, it's not vanilla to the original game, and I don't want to change too much. I don't think anybody wants to change too much of the game to, like, mess with feature sets and stuff like that. Like, look at that, a point zero, a point four nine eight. I was point zero zero two off of a perfect reaction time. That's insane. I think a very cool badge, uh, if you guys remember in 1320 Legends, there were badges. I think a very cool achievement would be um keeping track of how many 0 0.499 somebody gets like just per off of perfect <laughs> like the failed rt um i think that would be kind of hilarious man talking and racing is not my thing and neither are reaction times tonight so if the opponent gets a, a bad reaction though it just shows negative one um, it does not record and send their actual reaction time for some reason. So that's kind of worthless on their side, but at least you can see your own. I need to stop fouling. This is terrible. <laughs> let's uh, let's keep going, though. I'm only, what, like four races into this? Jesus Christ, I got a long way to go. Watch somebody, like, send me races while I'm doing this. 495? Really? Can we just count these? <laughs> the other night, I was getting 4.1 after 4.1 after 4.1. I haven't changed my ratios all that much. I don't know why I'm not hitting 4.1s anymore. Pretty much at all. But we're going to... I bet you it's my shifting. 203, I'm closer. Good lord, he's running faster. Uh, I don't have that car anymore, so I guess it's not 40 races that I'm going to run. I do still have this. I don't know what it runs. I'm just going to say 4.3. Let's try it. 
I don't know what this thing runs. We're going to go in blind. This should have very similar ratios to my funny car. Not going to lie, they use almost the exact same ratios, at least for me. So, I am way better at launching this car. I don't know why. Oh, wow, I actually did pretty well. 4.3 was actually a really good estimate. So, let's go. I got 32 more races. Oh, my God. I'm not good at doing commentary. Like, how do I talk for 30 more races? Oh, my God. There we go. Those were good shifts. That was a very good race. I'm proud of that one. All right. So, what kind of ideas or what do you guys kind of expect out of the 1320 Challenge game being back up? You know, it, it, I want to hear... I want to hear about your experiences. You know, I'd really like to hear people's history with the game. I love hearing that kind of stuff. Like, oh, I started playing because of my brother. I started playing because of one of my friends in middle school. Like, those kind of stories. I don't know why I like them so much. I wish I remembered how I found the game originally. I don't know. I'm going to go change my ratios. I don't know how I found the original game. I really wish I did. What's the... Wow, the final drive on this one's way lower. But yeah, uh, as far as I remember, I had gotten my very first computer. Um, it was like uh, Christmas of... I want to say like 99 or 2000. Something crazy like that is when I got my very first computer, and it was all thanks to my third grade teacher. Um, we had a computer in the classroom. Granted, it was very old. Oregon Trail was still on five and a quarter floppy disks being played on that computer. It was a very old computer. But in like 99 or 2000, my parents bought me a computer for Christmas. And <laughs> my parents bring this Christmas up all the time. Um, because they thought it was really funny and kind of cute. The computer was a full setup. It was a monitor, keyboard, mouse, tower. Um, and then I think after two or three months of having it, we got AOL uh, internet, thanks to a CD-ROM from Drug Mart. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> crazy stuff, man. Uh, very old. Uh, some history there. But that's how we ended up. That's how I ended up with my first computer. And then I just remember I got into like gaming and stuff very quickly because I had already had like an NES and stuff like that. So like video games were not new to me. I knew about them, you know, wasn't anything I was a stranger to. I enjoyed playing Super Mario. Super Mario 3 was one of my favorite games, still is one of my favorite games. Uh, I had a Game Boy, played all the Pokemon games. I learned about emulators very early. I learned about um, hacking and cheating in video games very quickly. Because I was always the type, I always had the mindset to mess with stuff. And it was a ton of fun. It was just what I did as a kid, you know? I would take things apart and put it back together. Been doing that since basically I could hold a screwdriver and understand how to use it. Um, I remember... Very, very early on. Whoops. <laughs> I wasn't talking so much I could stage. <laughs> I remember very early on discovering that my local library carried PC games. But, you know, I could only have them for about a week uh, based on library card rental. And I remember hating that I would always have to take out the game, you know, for a third, fourth, fifth week. And they had a limit. So people couldn't just like keep the games forever. I discovered no CD craps. Cracks. Craps. I discovered those very early on in owning a computer on how to basically pirate video games. I never had to pirate games because my local library had such a library of PC games. They had Need for Speeds. They had... Tonka Monster Truck. They had Roller Coaster Tycoon to rent. 
I learned about no CD cracks super early on. And from there, it was just, it was basically history. I had no reason to not rent games, and I figured out how to keep them, so I no longer had to continue renting them out. And while it was a ton of fun, I always enjoyed my gaming as a kid. Hacking was another thing, and actually the funny thing about 1320 Challenge is it beat me simply by RT. <laughs> funny thing with 1320 Challenge is I discovered Challenge because of APOC. I didn't discover Challenge because of drag racing or whatever it was. I discovered it because I was looking for a game to cheat. And since I was frequently on Cheat Engine's website, you know, I saw the Nitto 1320 section. And immediately, that's how I discovered the game. So that had to be 1.51, I want to say. 1.52S was the final version. I don't know what the letters meant. There were a couple of versions that had letters. But uh, that's how I discovered 1320. And from there, the rest was history. So, I don't know. I guess say what you will. Everybody knows my history with Legends. Everybody knows my history with uh, Racing Rivals. So, to some people, I guess it's not going to be a surprise that when I discovered Challenge, it was because of cheating. It wasn't because of racing. I literally discovered the game because I was looking for something to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible reasoning. But, uh, yeah, I have always enjoyed cars. Obviously, if you look at any of my YouTube shorts, most of them are car-related. Most of them are Fiat-related because that thing breaks all the time. And I just don't really know what to... Oh, oh. You know, that was that was it. I mean, I remember discovering how to edit Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 on PC, the car stats, super early on. I just figured out that you could open up the game files in Notepad and modify vehicle values. Of course, my fastest ET so far tonight is on a foul. <sighs> talking and racing is hard, especially when you're talking to yourself. Maybe I should have done a Discord call with somebody and recorded it that way. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so, anyway, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. The famous 499. There it is. I got a 499. <laughs> oh, God, I deserve a medal for that. Oh, man. But, yeah, it's, a. Uh... My gaming history has been a ton of fun. I got a Nintendo 64 the year they came out. Uh, and, you know, four months later was my birthday. My birthday's in April. I remember getting... Uh, I picked Snowboard Kids 2 over Super Smash Bros. And to this day, I do not regret that decision. I still have the same cartridge from when I was a kid. I love Snowboard Kids too. I have often thought about getting one of those USB N64 controllers. I used to have one. I don't know where it is, but if I can find it, once I get back into the swing of making videos often, especially thanks to 1320 Challenge for, with Espionage doing all the work he's done, once, uh, once I'm back into the habit of making videos, I want to get into a habit of streaming, and I would love to stream emulated snowboard kids 2 or break out my console and actually play it on console i just need to get a capture card for it so if there's anybody watching this that's made it this far in to my blabbering and you have a recommendation for a capture card that will work on uh older consoles i don't want to have to upscale to hdmi just to record I don't want to go out and buy an Elgato HD60 or whatever. I just want to be able to capture right off hardware, right from the composite cables or whatever. I don't want to do anything fancy. I've heard of Aver Media 
Um, I have one of their recording. Uh, I have the hardware. I don't have the software and a product key, and no one's ever cracked the software that I can find for the hardware that I have. But it basically is USB to composite, which I know is not the best thing on the planet, especially since it's USB 2.0. But... I got it dummy cheap at a local thrift store. So I saw it said I lost on that race, even though he fouled. Hmm. Whatever. But yeah, so I don't know. Oof. I've gotten so many 495s. Wow, 4188. Good run on that one there we go getting staged properly and oh, I didn't go back to neutral because I hit the keys too fast that happens really often who knows I always need to look and make sure. I need to develop a habit to make sure I am staged and in neutral. Because I hit the keys so fast to stage that I basically just fly and sometimes it doesn't register. I don't know if it's the keyboard. I paid $2 for this keyboard. No joke. I love this keyboard. Um, until it breaks, I will not switch. I don't care. I know I could get a better keyboard, like a Razer Huntsman or something like that, but like one of these days, I'll do a thrift shop find video on this keyboard. And actually, it wasn't a thrift shop find. Um, I don't know how many people actually know this. Uh, my daily job is working at an electronic shop, uh, fixing iPhones, computers, game consoles, you name it, I've probably repaired it. So... What I basically do sometimes is, or what we do sometimes, is we get return pallets just for, you know, especially around the holidays like right now. We get randomized return pallets to just throw pointless, easy stuff to eBay that people might buy for Christmas presents or things like that. So, you know, computer keyboards, mice, uh, other computer peripherals, you know, maybe phone peripherals and accessories, game controllers. Pretty much you name it, we've probably bought it before. This keyboard came out of one of those lots. We bought a lot. Uh, that's basically what it's called. It's called a lot. When you buy like a pallet of stuff, you're buying the lot of stuff. And we bought this pallet of computer keyboards. This was the only one in it like it. And for some odd reason, the round keys and the RGB just sucked me in. And it's not true RGB. It's not addressable. Uh, top row is yellow. Next row is green. Next row is blue. Next row is pink. Next row is orange. <laughs> it's not true RGB. Um, but it does patterns. It does. I don't have that car anymore. It does patterns. Does stuff like that. I don't have that car anymore. So i like it if you hold down the volume knob it's also a button if you hold that down you can change the flashing pattern but you know anyway let's get in on to this uh final race here we got the million dollar race this is the final race of this video let's wish me some luck because i have not done well so far i also just realized it didn't record any audio for the game and I obviously can't remake this video it is a one and done come on come on yeah I lost that one because of reaction yep well GG everybody uh, that didn't take as long as I thought 20 minutes that's not bad but yeah if you want to play 1320 challenge you can get it from 1320challenge.com uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. Instructions on how to run the game is there. Leave it in the uh, comments down below what you think about being able to see your foul reaction instead of just the word foul. That is one of those changes to the game that, um, you know, it's not vanilla. 
So I understand some people might not like it. So like this 033 instead of the word foul, let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. It's not vanilla, but I understand from the racing standpoint why some people might actually like this feature. So, you know, hit us up, send us some races. Obviously, I'm on the game as Tech X. You can send me as many races as you want, and that's just going to be uh, <laughs> more videos because every time I wake up and I have more than 20 races, I am going to record a video of racing all of those races. So hit me up. I want, you know what? I'll give you guys a challenge. I want to log in and see at least 100 incoming races. Let's hit that. There's enough people on this game that it should only be two or three races per person, realistically. But I want to log into this game and see 100 incoming races. Y'all got probably 12 hours, uh, maybe... It's midnight where I am almost. You have probably 18 hours before I will log into the game again. If you can get me to 100 incoming challenges, I'll live stream it instead. Let's get there, boys and girls. Who am I kidding? There's none of you here. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Bye.